Now, Serena, I understand the defendant also took the stand today. That's right, Brennan. In fact, she is on the stand right now. Her name is Ethel Anderson. She's a former teacher with Mango Elementary School, and her taking the stand is certainly a surprise. We did not expect it. But after the prosecution rested its case around 5 today, she started crying openly. And then we noticed that she started to consult with her father. And moments after that, she took the stand. It certainly has been an explosive day of testimony. Earlier in the day, her alleged victim, only 12 at the time, took the stand telling the jury that Anderson told him that she loved him and wanted to be him, wanted to be with him even more than her own husband. The prosecution then presented more than 200 texts between the two. Now, Anderson just moments ago says that she admits that she sent some inappropriate texts, but she said she never engaged in any sex acts. Here's what else she had to say. No, sir, I recognize that it was explicit and inappropriate, but it was just fantasy and not anything that actually ever occurred. Did you have concerns about uh, his well-being? He had admitted or stated to me um, that he was feeling depressed and suicidal. And that's why she also said that she sent those texts to try to comfort him during that time. Now, apparently there's also, we actually heard it in court, a secretly recorded confession taken by the boy's mother. Anderson is testifying right now that she only confessed because that's what she thought the boy's mother wanted to hear. Pretty explosive stuff. We are following the case. The jury is expected to get the case tonight, and we could have a verdict. Reporting live from the Hillsborough County Courthouse, I'm Serena Fazan, ABC Action News.